and time is winding down to let your voice be heard about the proposed price hikes for National Park admission. But as, as, but as MTN's Nicole Miller reports, some don't feel the public had enough time to weigh in on it. Just a little over a week remains to submit comment on a controversial proposal by the National Park Service to more than double entrance fees at 17 national parks in order to address decades of deferred maintenance. But some don't feel the 30-day comment period is enough time. We're very concerned that the public is only being given 30 days to comment on this proposal. It's just simply not enough time for people to be able to weigh in. To our great state of Montana, cannot Senator Danes agrees. Wednesday, he sent a letter to the acting director of the National Park Service asking for an extension of the public comment period. A spokesman with the National Park Service says the 30-day comment period isn't unusual. I can't say 30 days is not an uncommon time period for our public comment process in, in the national park system. Now, sometimes that varies from park to park, but, but 30 days isn't extraordinary. He says once every comment is reviewed, including Senator Dane's extension request, all will be taken into consideration before moving forward. We will go through all of the comments, kind of categorize them according to kind of what feedback we received, and then of course we take that into consideration as we determine how we want to move forward with, with a proposal like this. Reporting in Glacier National Park, Nicole Miller, MTN News. Now, if the proposal were to move forward, the entrance fee increase would go into effect in 2018 from May through September. The public comment period is open until Thanksgiving Day, November 23rd on the National Park Service Planning, Environment and Public Comment website.